Hi, I'm Max Kina. I'm a philosopher at the University of Oxford, and I work on the ethics of artificial intelligence. So that's the moral do's and don'ts uh, in the development of and use of this exciting new technology. And AI is really a fascinating field. AI increasingly does things that previously only humans could do, including driving cars or even diagnosing illnesses. And what's more, AI is also outperforming humans. So on average, AI already is, or will soon be, better than the average human driver. And in some domains of medical diagnostics, when it comes to looking at skin conditions or MRI scans, AI already outperforms human medical professionals as well. So it's going to be really exciting to see the benefits that we can get from this new technology. But there is also a lingering worry. Even the best AI won't be perfect. And when things go wrong, when an autonomous car hits a pedestrian or a medical AI misdiagnoses a patient, we might face a so-called responsibility gap. A situation where literally no one is responsible for the harm caused by AI. That's because the AI itself is a machine and can't really be responsible. And the humans involved, they don't obviously re-satisfy the conditions of moral responsibility. Consider control, for instance. With the best AI systems, it's really hard for humans to have any meaningful opportunity to intervene because the processes can be too fast or too complex. They might also have little control due to the increasing autonomy of AI systems and disconnection to human agency. Or it may just be that the fact that there are so many different people involved in the development and use of that technology, any one of them doesn't have more than a tiny fraction of control. Another reason for the lack of responsibility might be that people um, are not able or could not possibly have foreseen that harm would happen on this occasion. The best AI systems happen to be the ones that are least transparent. For instance, so-called deep neural networks that we use in image recognition, they could base one single output on over 20 million parameters. They constantly change their algorithm and in some way then develop into what people call a black box. So we can see that they perform really well, but we can't really look into them. They are impenetrable to human inspection. So what should we do about it? Should we just think that responsibility is part of our past morality, forget about it, and say we make AI systems as good and safe as we can, and the rest is just gone now? Today, I wanna, in this video, I want to share two ideas with you. Um, one, it's about uh, why we should care about responsibility, and the other one is about how we should care about it. <clears throat> so first, the why. I think responsibility is so important because it is key to sustainability. But I think sustainability in general concerns the question of how we're going to satisfy the interests that we have today without frustrating those interests that will exist tomorrow. Normally, um, the environment comes to mind. So we think about how we can use our natural resources so that we can't just live well now, but have a planet Earth that will also be habitable tomorrow and the years to come for future generations. Or people think about the economy. They think about economic sustainability concerning the question of how we should run our businesses right now so that there will also be prosperity tomorrow. But I want to talk about a third pillar of sustainability called social sustainability. And that is about the question how we can satisfy our interests today and live well today, while also creating a society where there will be human flourishing, justice and social cohesion tomorrow. And it's exactly here where responsibility plays such an important role. So responsibility, as the word suggests, is about responding or answering. So a responsible agent is one who can be aptly asked to answer for their conduct, to explain why they conducted themselves as they did. That doesn't mean that they are in any way blameworthy or should be punished even when the things were harmful, but that they are at least under an obligation to explain. And after all, they might have a good explanation. But that type of responsibility as so-called answerability is so important because it is premised on mutual recognition, equality, and respect. 
And for these reasons, it can be a natural remedy against what we know are key threats to social sustainability, such as inequality, discrimination, and polarization. In responsibility as answerability, people are asked to mutually recognize themselves as moral and political equals, to see each other's rights and interests, and be committed to finding a solution to move forward together. Um, so with responsibility in, in that sense, we can have some kind of remedy against the things that technologies are also known to create or at least exacerbate. We know that AI can discriminate, that it can polarize and have all these other effects that can undermine social sustainability. So we should care about that type of responsibility as this moral conversation, to have conversation instead of polarization, to have justice instead of discrimination and equality instead of inequality. And I think this is why it's so important to care about responsibility. Now, what are we going to do about it? You might think, yeah, this sounds great in, in theory, but we need to find something that works in practice as well. Um, so this is what I'm thinking about, what many colleagues of mine think about how to make sure we have a feasible social practice of responsibility. But I want to close just with a glimpse of an idea um, that you can think further and, and help, help every one of us to come up with a good solution. And I, I call this the ABC of responsible AI. So A stands for answerability. And that requires that we determine who is going to have to answer for what and to whom. Given that there are so many people involved in the use and development of AI, we need to find out what the people have to answer for, um, what their role responsibilities are. The B stands for blame and asks us to determine at which point we would be justified in blaming different people, in maybe applying legal redress as well, and what kind of answer we expect from them. Here we need to think about what due diligence in the development as well as use of AI really means. And finally, the C stands for compensation, because we have to be prepared. There will be bad things without bad people. There will be situations of harm where no one was really at fault. And we need to make sure that the people who get harmed will be sufficiently compensated. And I think with these three uh, letters A, B, and C, you might make an important step towards sustainable AI.